Hi you guys and girls of World of Warcraft, Weasel Jr. here, and today I'm going to show you how to get Fell Blight by fishing up Fell Mouth Frenzies. With 6.2 coming out just this Tuesday, Fell Blight is in such demand that competition can get fierce. And if you're trying to take a little bit of gold out of my pocket, well, I'm going to get a little revenge. With prices ranging between 300 to 900 per fell plate, you can understand why you need to defend your fishing holes. It takes roughly 30 fell plates to make one item upgrade. DK had a good tactic of using Path of Frost to walk along the water to keep away from all the hostiles. Unfortunately, he attacked me while I was AFK. I don't know about you, but I love being on a PvP realm because I can actually do something about competition. I ran into both Horde and Ally players at spot number one. The mobs around the area were also very aggressive. But overall, this is probably a really good spot. This next area has a lot of competition, or at least it did on Tuesday. And if you have mining or skinning, this is a really good spot, especially if you have skinning. I had a guildie who fished here all day and he got quite a few of them. His buddy went around skinning. This is right by the ally quest top, so a lot of allies come floating through here, killing all the mobs around, and there's also an elite rare. Unless you have skinning or mining, I do not recommend this spot because the pools are hit heavily as people come walking by to go do their quests and whatnot. Spot number two is by Lion's Watch. The fish in this area also have a large aggro range, causing you to have to kill them in order to continue fishing. Spot number three, which is right outside Hellfire Citadel, is probably the most dangerous for accidental death. The green goo, lava, water, or whatever you want to call it, gives a stacking buff or debuff. Depending on how you want to view it. Every stack you get increases your damage you put out by 5%. It also increases the damage you take by 5%. At 10 stacks, you die. Now I can cloak it off on my rogue, so other classes can probably get rid of the debuff. Without flying, this is very difficult terrain to get around. Not to mention you're right by a raid, so you're going to run into enemy faction left and right. This spot had all the pools very close together compared to all the other spots that I fished. Spot number three, the green stuff around Hellfire Citadel. May your adventures be epic and your loots legendary. My last spot is surrounded by level 100 and 102 elites. They're very aggressive and whatnot, but it happens to be my new favorite spot to fish. I'm guessing the main reason that I liked it so much is it reminded me of when I first started playing World of Warcraft over 5 or 6 years ago in the Night Elf starting zone. In my research to find Fellmouth Frenzies, this spot was not on the map. I actually came here just to double check that there were no fishing pools. And this is probably the number one spot in my opinion due to the lack of people who fish in this area. There was constantly five or six pools up at all times when I went around fishing. I highly recommend you get something that allows you to walk on water as the patrols come near the shore and they walk up and down the entire lake. Spot number four is directly south of Lion's Watch and slightly to the right. If this video helped you out then be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And be sure to check out more of my videos for more gold making tips and tricks from Weasel Jr.